just to start off, we have uh, Amir Sadola here, the winner of Ultimate Fighter 7, for those of you who have been under a rock. And uh, Amir, tell us a little bit about yourself to start off. We know you're from New York, you train in Richmond, and we know that you had some uh, a little bit of a background before you went on the Ultimate Fighter, so anything you can add to that? In a nutshell, that's it. Um, yeah, no, no, I guess... Uh, I just wanted to hear you guys find out a few words, but that's, I guess, all the main points. Um, I think, you know, obviously, since the show, MMA has been a huge focus in my life, and that's, uh, what I've just got to work on recently. I think I'm, uh, in the process of moving up to Vegas and training up there full time. I, I like the guys that are training up there at the Toys Camp and Warrior Training Centers, so, uh, I think I make that my own. Alright, um, we do know that, you know, you tried out for IFL, that's correct? Correct, right, yeah. And that's where Dana found you, basically, right? Right. So, you know, one thing I gotta ask you is, what is it like living in the house? We, we hear a lot about, you know, from all the seasons of Ultimate Fighter, we've seen a lot of crazy things happening in that house, but uh, what's it like living in the house? It's uh, not, not something everybody can go through, huh? Yeah, it's definitely a test. I mean, I look at everything on that show as kind of a test for you in my career. I mean, everything, not just the fighting, just that. Uh, you know, it's just a bunch of Absolutely right. I mean, you bring up a good point, but uh, let me ask you: What was it like going in? You know, being the zero zero record guy. You know, having no previous matches or anything like that, anything official. What was that like? You know, fighting and working out. You know, when you have that record. Did you feel they looked at you differently? Um, I, I feel like I mean, the, show, the, the fight to get in the house, and especially the guy I faced, was getting a UFC that get in. Um, right. I think just that kind of set up. Like, everyone in the house had all the respect for each other, and we all fought to get in, and we all fought to fight. And, uh, so, I mean, yeah, obviously there are guys that don't like, you know, they were the favorites, they you know, their records being, you know, higher or longer. So, uh, but as far as, like, you know, did they want to write anyone else off, just because, you know, it was, Right, and you know, it, it was definitely kind of a, everybody, at least from what we saw on TV, seemed kind of shocked that, you know, Forrest picked you first, but then, uh, you know, you proved your own business after the, your very first fight, so. Did that put more pressure on you, being picked first? Right, but on his team. You know, throughout the show, you actually showed the, that you were a very calm person. We, we saw a lot of fighters throughout the seven seasons of the show where, you know, they, they have this crazy pre-routine, pre-fight routine. They'd go crazy, they'd scream, they'd get into it, but... You seem like the calmer guy, you know, like the guy who had his head together, was focused, never th was thinking about other things uh, except your fight. Uh, how is that different from other fighters? How do you how do you how do you find that different? Uh, I don't know. I mean, fighting is so like special in the game. It's so individualized. You know, you, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, what level of success you got. You know, you can write a book on what you do, and that doesn't mean it's gonna work for anyone else. But I don't know. Just you, know, you kind of follow me on the show. I, I try to stay mellow and. Being on it, editing and stuff like it, it definitely changes the way you can uh, kind of do someone. 
Absolutely. Man, I didn't think it, it didn't need to get up like that or angry or upset. And, uh, yeah. Absolutely. But uh, I got to ask you one more question about since we're talking about the show. What would you say was your favorite match on there? Whether it was yours or you know somebody else, what was your favorite match on the show? Right. I hear you on that. That was, there was a lot of great fights on uh, on that season. I thought personally, so you know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every single match was uh, you know great to watch, and I, I couldn't personally. I was glued to the TV, so I hear you on that. Absolutely, yeah, that's that's a great point. That uh, you know, uh, who was your favorite fighter other than yourself? Who was who was your favorite fighter other than yourself? I know I'm kind of putting you on the spot, you know, because you guys all have a lot of respect for each other and uh, all that. But uh, who was who was your favorite fighter? Right, and what did you what did you think of that uh, Matt Brown and Jeremy May situation that happened earlier on? So, so was Jeremy really that bad guy they painted on TV? In general, not just you know the Matt Brown situation, because uh, he got into uh, Jesse's face later on too. Yeah, very, very, very good answer there. And uh, let me tell you, you know, because this was obviously one of the most popular topics of discussion on the show. But uh, wh- what did you think of the Jesse Taylor situation? Uh, 